Okay, so we saw that the, um, if you look at the spatial compon component of the form momentum, you get the new expression, new generalized, correct, uh, relativistically correct expression for the um, the three momentum, and uh, and we saw that at uh, low speeds, when u over c approaches zero, that this actually reduces to the classical expression for the three momentum, which is satisfying. It should. We know that it should um, because that we know that the classical three momentum works under at low velocities. Now, what about the temporal component? So the temporal component of the four momentum, which may sometimes we designate as uh, again uh, script le a lowercase p sub zero or p naught is equal to gamma m c, um, and again this is equal to um, if we do the Taylor expansion. it's equal to, you, again, you just bring down the exponent and um, and it looks like this, again, for u much, much less than c. Okay, okay now if we multiply um, p sub zero by c, so that we multiply this side by c, um, then we get P sub zero c is equal is approximately equal to m c squared plus one half m u squared at uh, u for very slow velocities u much much less than c. Now, what what we should what you may recognize here is that this looks very much like the kinetic energy, and in fact, um, uh, if we equate uh, p zero, which is gamma sorry, c times p0, okay, hold on, p sub 0 c, okay, is equal to gamma mc squared, which is approximately equal to mc squared plus one half mu squared, then we get then we see that gamma minus one times mc squared is the kinetic energy. Okay, now that's true. This is actually true. Um, this is actually true even uh, even at relativistic speeds. Okay. So we have actually directly from the form momentum we have an expression for the total energy okay so the total energy of a particle is equal to um, p sub zero c which is equal to gamma mc squared. Okay, so the total energy is equal to gamma mc squared. So that's a really handy, um, a really handy expression. Just directly from the form momentum, we actually get um, the total energy of a particle. And again, this is invariant. Okay, actually, I said that wrong. This is not invariant. Um, it, you can see that it's clearly not invariant because it depends on gamma, which depends on the velocity. So this is not invariant, but it gives you the total energy of the particle at any velocity.